just check the fluids, everything's where I left it. Everything's still full. Gonna take a quick peek under here, see if we see anything. No puddles that I see, that's good. All kinds of spider webs everywhere. I got all the air bled out of it. When I first started, I keep this off and just I look down in there and see if I spot any bubbles, but I don't see any, so I think I got it all bled. It takes a while with these engines because there's so many little passageways. You got the steam pipe and all kinds of different little passages that need to be bled out. exhaust tip hangs down way lower than this one. See that one's nice tight up against the uh, quarter panel there. Bottom of the bed. This one hangs like a few inches lower. I'm not sure what happened. I measured uh, everything out pretty good but um, something got screwed up so I'm gonna have to eventually cut it right here clock it up a little bit, hold it up with jack stand or whatever and get it just like the other one and weld it back up. But that's no big deal. Just thought I'd point that out in case that looks funny. Because it does look funny. I need to fix that. Oh well. Okay, I was a little bit rough on it, but nothing broke, and the temperature stayed right at 190. Didn't come up any higher than 190. And it's pretty warm out today.